Hello and welcome to this WordJack video on how to refund an e-commerce order. For this process, you'll need logins to both your e-commerce dashboard and your Stripe merchant account. To start, go to your e-commerce website and log into the dashboard. Then go to WooCommerce and select Orders. Open up the order you want to refund by clicking on the View icon. You'll have the option to change this status to Refunded later. But the first thing you need to do is refund the payment. I always prefer to check the history notes to check for the original confirmation of payment from Stripe, along with the transaction ID. To go ahead with the refund, log into Stripe and click on Payments. There you will find a record for when the original payment was made into your account. Click to view details of the payment, then click the Refund Payment button. You will have an option to refund the whole payment or only a part, because one product was out of stock for example. In this case, we're going to refund the whole payment. As you can see, Stripe warns that refunds can take 5 to 10 days to appear on the customer's statement. Now for the second step. Return to the WooCommerce dashboard and update the status of the order to be refunded. The third and final step is important because it informs your customer that you have issued the refund. Scroll down to the Notes section of the order and add a note to your customer informing them that the refund has occurred, and that it may take 5 to 10 days to hit their account. Ensure you select Customer Note or the customer won't get the notification they need. Now from your customer's perspective, they will receive an email generated by your website. Your note about the refund will appear at the top and the original details of the order below. That completes the process of refunding an e-commerce order. Thanks for watching and please contact your WordJack web marketing manager if you have any questions.